What's up guys? You know it's early in the morning when the lens is grainy, right? All right, so I'm at the gym. Here we go, LA Fitness. I'm about to hit a chest workout and uh, it's the beginning of a new week and let's do it. What's going on guys? Welcome to the Body Damn Channel. This channel is all about food, fitness, and how to live an active, healthy lifestyle. Instead of being crunched in this car, I'd like to get in that gym and start my workout. So let's go hit up a chest workout. <laughs> Exhale going up. So again today in this workout we're doing a reverse pyramid kind of setup today. We're doing four, uh, six, eight, and then ten reps on uh, the first third of the workout. Definitely uh, challenging ourselves and having a good time. It feels good. It's early in the morning. I mean, what better way to start the day, right? Anytime you, get, anytime you get into one of these machines, you really want to make sure that you align the bars. These are hammer strength machines. You want to align that bar with your nipple. So I'm teaching Drew here how to do that. All right, so you're in the machine. Where's your nipple line? Show me. Right about there. Okay, so we're really close to the bar, and that's a good starting position right there. Keep your elbows in and contract your chest going up. Go for it. Four reps. Good. Four solid reps. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do, a, you're gonna meet your chest to this thing. This is gonna look like this. You're gonna meet down with it, bam. Now you're gonna put it this way, but you be on your knees, yeah. So meet your chest, do it if you can. Good, press up. And then rotate it to your next one. While you're in that, yep. You see how many you can do it. Last week you couldn't do any of them. So now you're getting stronger already. So I'm done with the workout. Hopefully you guys learned a couple little things from that video footage, whatever. And uh, yeah, now I'm gonna go to the coffee shop, get about four action-packed hours of work done. And uh, from there, I'm gonna go home, eat a monstrous meal. I even have the uh, protein shake right here. And I got a banana right there. That's uh, gonna be consumed the minute I leave the coffee shop. Definitely going a little bit harder on this fasting, because I like it. But outside of that, I thought it was a I thought it was a great workout. Even in one or two weeks, Drew, which is my workout partner, he's just come miles ahead of just, you know, form and everything. Yeah, Drew, my workout partner, has come a long way from even a week or two ago. So shout out to Drew, and he does hold the camera a lot of times, so you can put his name down below, like shout out to Drew. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do that. And then do a couple more active things when I get home. Hopefully I can ride my bike today. It's to be about 72 as a high. I really want to get out on the trail today. It'll be a lot of fun. Yesterday, I was talking to Drew today, and yesterday I went on an hour ride, fully fasted in the morning um, at 80%, like probably peak capacity. Like it was brutal, but it felt really, really good. And uh, it was definitely challenging to do it under a fasted state. But yeah, that's what's going on so far. And uh, if you like these vlogs, make sure you hit the like button down below, put a comment down below. All right, sitting here at Starbucks, getting this video up here in about one second. My brother is joining me. And I consider this like my study time, right? That's what I call it. So anyways, I'm gonna get done with this video, get all this editing done, get more work done. I'll be done around 11.30, maybe noon, and then open up the second half of my day, basically. At the house, actually boxing up now, Estrella hat. Another one got ordered. So this one's black right there, black trucker, 
five panel Estrella hat shipping off some Amazon stuff and there's the Estrella hat right there back at the casa and I'm going to have my first true meal of the day I had that shake and I had that banana felt good waited about 30 minutes now I'm eating this which is kind of like my go-to staple breakfast or my first meal of the day yellow rice scrambled eggs plus real eggs um, guacamole sriracha ketchup so I'm gonna do that probably a handful of blueberries maybe some carrot juice and that'll be my first meal of the day feels good there's some sun outside and I'm gonna go put myself in it the sun is definitely beaming out today definitely gonna try to get that right in this is how you win the day mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's a one stuff right there it's about 345 now I had a grilled chicken with ketchup what else did I have something else anyways um yeah and I'm uh, about to go hit up the mountain biking trail. So I got a little shirt jersey on. The bikes are chilling on the back of the SUV. And we're gonna go ride Walnut Creek, which is a fast paced, to me it's like a beginner intermediate place now, but uh, definitely flowy and fast. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. Let's check it out. So here we are at Walnut Creek. It's the parking lot. And there are trails all around this place. It's actually amazing. There are also like softball fields and random stuff like that around here too. But I think the best part about this is the mountain biking. So we're going to go uh, hit some trails and uh, roll up the gimbal. Right here. I did say we because she's here. But yeah, we're going to get this little gimbal going and then we'll be off. And the freaking GoPro battery now is not working. I mean, it just needs another one. I left it at home, so no footage. Sorry, guys, but maybe footage tomorrow. All right. Promise. Done with the ride. Man, I didn't feel good on this ride at all, man. I had five hours of sleep. Five hours and 30 minutes of sleep yesterday. So anyways, but yeah, it was good. We did a 45 minute pretty quick one and uh, Sweaty as hell, man. Really got a good sweat on. Ugh, I probably should have eaten more before I got here, really. You know, even when I feel like absolute hell, I still try to crank out a workout or I'll do whatever. I just try to keep on schedule, you know? But it was a good ride, nevertheless. That sucks that the gimbal didn't work. Oh well. All right, we're at the gym. Yes, we are. There we see Drew again. Ready to go, ready to do this thing. All right, we're gonna begin with some ab stuff and then um, we're gonna jump into a back work. And we're gonna hit it all up. We gotta make sure we get warm. It's kind of cold outside in Austin, Texas. So you really wanna take the time to warm up your body. Going up, keep one tiny bend to your legs, and then just bring your first exercise. I'm doing the front pull down. First exercise he's gonna be doing high row. Then we're gonna switch off, which is effectively the warm up. So 40, 30, 20, and then we're gonna go into our working sets, which today, Will probably be some reverse pyramid stuff, so let's get to it. All right, so today we're going to be working on uh, speed of uh, the weight from point A to point B. We're going to try to keep it as equal as possible, and that way we can really feel the weight hitting the muscle. as much as you feel that final squeeze man you feel that squeeze good that's that's all you need to go back you don't need to go back any more than that and acceleration deceleration good That's going to be uh, single arm rows in a standing position. So check this out. Four sets, eight reps. Same acceleration, deceleration. You definitely want to get this thing in line with your forearm once your body is down a little bit with gravity, like this. Okay. Lower center of gravity. Wide stance. Initial pull. Have to be like to where your chest is, just straight by your side. Yeah. Good. So the next exercise we're going to do is a single armed uh, lat kind of pulls. So uh, we're going to be at the same exact machine, which is this looking thing right here. We're going to put the cable originating from a high position, and then we're going to uh, get on the ground, put a wide base with our knees, and we're going to stretch out our lats, contract in without rolling the shoulder. 
to the side. So if that makes any sense, just watch this form. squeezing the latissimus dorsi muscle. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is an improvised um, kind of lower back extension since the other machine's kind of broken. So we're gonna do this, it's completely improvised, kind of same movement, and I feel the same exact pull on my lower back. Um, slight bend in the knees, pitch your body forward, keep your shoulders pinned back, and uh, we'll see what we can get done. Probably about 10 reps or so. All right, so we're pretty much done with the workout. We're gonna do some calves at the end, but that was pretty good. If you enjoyed the workout, maybe you learned something, hit the like button. I'm gonna get to the other part of my day. It's a good workout though. Not terribly exhausting and I didn't want it to be. A good back workout today, you know, I focused on something a little bit different, which was, uh, you know, speed and velocity. Um, and it's important to switch your workouts every two to three weeks. Now, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna do speed and velocity for, but you know, it was good for today. I had a really good eight hours of sleep last night, which is pretty incredible, because during the week I usually never get that. But yeah, you have, my point is you really have to be switching things up about every two to three weeks. If you want the most gains, you gotta have a program that's adapting every two to three weeks, you know, throwing you through a power phase, through a um, exhaustion phase, you know, all that kind of stuff needs to be programmed in there. And uh, hopefully one day, if I'm lucky, I'll be able to get one of those things out as a product to you guys. It's still probably a year or two away, but um, you know, it's really, really important. I think that's one of the reasons why I am who I am and I have the body that I have. I've taken the time to program it correctly um, that to where it switches up every two to three weeks. If you're doing the same exercises for years, like it's just not gonna work, right? You'll get a decent frame, but if you wanna get a nice aesthetic frame and body, then you're gonna have to start switching things up. And plus it's really good for the mind too. Like you don't ever wanna be doing the same stuff over and over and over. Like that's just not, it's just not sustainable, right? All right, I'm at the Starbies. Time to get some good coffee down and some good work accomplished. <laughs> All right, it's 11.10, just got out of the coffee shop, warming up my truck, gonna chow on this banana, and I'm gonna have a protein shake, and then I'm gonna go to a couple stores, do some retail arbitrage, which is what I like to do on the side as of right now, fourth quarter. Um, and then I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna concoct a really, really big breakfast because I'm starving. So anyways, first thing down the hatch, this, and protein shake that. So I got home from the coffee shop, did some work, did some retail arbitrage, some fun stuff at uh, some stores. And now I'm sitting here drinking some uh, carrot juice. Ah, I couldn't find a cup. Anyway, um, really good stuff. Just had some eggs, guacamole, mm, yellow rice. I had sriracha. I know I had ketchup and some salsa on top. That was good stuff. Okay, it's 50 something in, in Austin, Texas. Cold for us and uh, I gotta do some sort of cardio later so I gotta figure that out. And uh, then I got to edit some more videos for this channel. Which reminds me, if you're having a good time, make sure that you hit the like button. Then I can finally buy myself some real cups. Get back some turkey and a potato. Meal number two, actually meal technically number three is this. So it's a potato that was cooked in a potato bag. And it's uh, probably eight ounces of ground turkey. Some guacamole on top, then I'm gonna put some liquid aminos. And that's gonna be the meal. All right, it is about 50 degrees. We're gonna get a uh, cruiser bike ride going on right now. So that's why we got the little down jackets and everything. Shouldn't be too bad, but uh, it's cold though, right? Yeah, let's go. Picking your boogers in your nose right now. There we go. This jacket is warm. My brother, he's coming down the street. Gotta stay active as much as possible every single day. I've been doing something active every day since January 1st. Think about that, that's a long time. And it's like December, I don't even know, it's a lot of fun. With or without someone with you, it doesn't matter. Like, I've been going that long. It's early in the morning, 6.15, I'm at the gym. It is freezing outside, raining, 
worst weather possible and a lot of people probably would have stayed home. But in order to get a good body, in order to have good fitness, you're going to have to work at it all the time. So I'm going to get in there, see Drew, and hit up a leg workout right now. Warm up with leg extension, 40, 30, 20 reps. The main reason why you really want to warm up properly is to, you know, it's, it's injury basically. And like you want to make sure that you're in this game for the long term, right? Not just short term gains or anything like that, or losing weight real quick or gaining really quick muscle for a season or a picture or an event. You gotta try to be in this thing for the long term. So, proper warming up, very important. You gotta get the blood in this region that you're gonna be working out. And that's the reason why it takes such an extensive amount of time warming up because. I want to be in this for the long term, you know? When it comes to warming up, you just got to make sure that, uh, you know, you start really, really light and then you progressively get heavier in the warm up, thus getting you close to what your working set will be. And if you need what's called a bridge set in between, then you perform a bridge set. For the most part, you warm up and then that should be very close to the weight that you're going to be starting to work with. So, anyways, we're almost done with the warm up and we're going to do some leg extensions as our primary first exercise. Alright, so the first exercise is going to be the hack squat. This time I'm going to go all the way down basically to where the machine lets me. I'm going to bring it all the way up. So a little bit lighter weight today, but the movement is definitely as maximized as I can get it. Um, four sets of eight reps or so, something like that. Next up, leg press. For me, it's gonna be a single legged leg press. For Drew, it'll be double leg. And we want to see the furthest down position that it will go. So provide emphasis on the quads. And then we'll switch a little bit of gears and start working on the hamstrings. All right, so got done with our single leg leg presses. Now we're gonna move the chair up a notch or the highest position possible. And this will emphasize now the hamstrings. We're gonna do about four sets of eight reps on this. Drew looks really ready. I'm ready to go. He's Let's ready do to it. go. Okay, next up, and one of the last things we're doing today is squats. We've got Drew right here loading the form, and then we're going to have him on a very light barbell, 20 pounds only. And uh, squat form is one of those things that takes a long time to learn. Like, don't expect to learn perfect squat form, and I'm not even perfect, but don't expect to learn it in any reasonable amount of time. It just takes, it takes a lifetime to really learn perfect squat form for your body mechanics, right? So that being said, I'm going to be doing 5x5 with 225, and he'll be doing 5x5 with the 20. And um, yeah, so that's what we're gonna be doing. And uh, let's knock this out. Good, let's try it out. Not bad, not bad. Flatten your back out a little bit more. There you go. Good. And that goes to my original point. Like, it's just like, it always evolves like over many, many years. So I'm pretty proud for Drew to at least be doing that on like his second leg day of our ever working out together. So an excellent workout with Drew, another leg workout done, really getting proud of his uh, form. And you know, like I said, I always try to rate him when we do workouts together, so I'll say like 60%, 50%, 80%, and 100% meaning like that's damn near perfect. But it's uncommon to have an entire set be 100%, right? So I give him some ratings, and I'm always, always critiquing form because I'm kind of doing what I wish someone would have done for me like back in the day. And I had a lot of people help me out, but for, to have someone there like all the time uh, was, I mean, I could have had 
way more amazing results like early in the game and that's really what I want to give to Drew so anyways I hope you're enjoying the footage if you do have any questions about the workout or something like that please put it down below but for now I'm gonna head off to the Starbucks I'm gonna do uh, actually about one or two hours of work today and then right around 11 o'clock I'll break my fast I'll get the banana in I'll get the protein shake in and yeah we're gonna start the day that way it's muggy it's rainy and I could have just said no right I could have just stayed in but honestly I'm so hardwired now that, it, that there's no way that's gonna happen and I hope to impart some of that on you guys um, some motivation like there are a million different walls that you can put up okay a million different walls that you can put up but the second that you understand that the walls are just you fighting you it's just you know big deal it's a rainy day it's cold put a jacket on you know get into your car it's okay it's gonna rain it's gonna get cold, right? It's gonna get too hot one day. It's gonna be all kinds of things. It's gonna be snowing one day. You just gotta understand that these walls are gonna come up, right? And you need to be good at taking them down quickly. Since Drew doesn't own a car, I'm gonna try to be the nice guy here and uh, pick him up and bring him at least to the bus stop. Austin's not a big town, right? And uh, he, uh, you know, lives in campus, which is, I don't know, five or six miles that way. And it's just rainy, it's cold and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, if I can help him at least get to the bus stop and that's cool and a lot of students honestly like they don't have cars in this town They really don't but yeah, I'll just try to do something nice my nice thing for the day We'll see if I can get that done. Hurry up Drew if I don't have all day damn yeah, I'll, take you, I'll take you to the bus stop or you can go to the coffee shop for an hour. It's whatever you want to do Um, I mean, it's right. It's right across the block. The Really? The... Well, it's like that way, right? No, it's right across That's the right block. here. Oh, bro. Never mind then. Do you want to, you're gonna go home then yeah. and eat? Yeah. All right, go home and get yeah. eat, get school. All right. All right. Later, bro. But next, uh, tomorrow. Maybe. Tomorrow. Okay. What are you doing tomorrow? You're not going to the coffee shop tomorrow? I'm going to the coffee shop tomorrow. Yeah, I'll come to the coffee shop. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, dude. Later. Peace. brother decided to join us. He's got the Strella hat on, representing Strong, and he's telling me to watch this Tim Ferriss video, so we're all going to yeah. watch that later on. Yeah, if there's anything one. that like, you're, you're afraid of starting, look at this video and he'll basically give you like a little walkthrough of things that will uh, help you achieve the goals that you want. So on my way to actually Taco Deli, so I'm gonna smash the protein shake and the banana probably after I eat these tacos. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get some of those, and then I'm gonna do a little bit more work, and then I gotta meet someone for a Craigslist deal, make some money on something real quick, go home, do a live show on YouTube, my other channel, work on some other things for my brand Strella, and yeah, quite a action-packed day, let me tell you. Um, yeah, not fun. Man, that's like focus fail on the Taco Deli logo right there. I thought it was going to turn out so much better than this. You can't win it all, I guess. You just can't. Taco time! So the first meal of the day, I made two just tacos. It's got avocado, a little bit of cheese, and it's got scrambled eggs. And we have some refried black beans right there. So I'll be eating half of that. These two tacos, my protein shake and my banana. And I think I've fasted for about five hours, so that's pretty good. Dude, this day turned to you know what real quick.